boss. This fellow's got something he wants to get rid of. It's an easy mark. All right. I'm going to come over here. What have they got? All right, I'll give you uh, $10. No, 200 pesos. That's all I pay, and if you don't like it, go on and get out. Mexican using his six shooter in the wrong place. What's the matter, Bob? Oh, just a drunk Mexican. Who was he? Raising the ruckus in the tavern over there. Stranger, I don't know. Well, we're checking up on strangers. Did he fit that description? Read it. I broke my glasses. One hundred dollars reward for the capture of the Mexican bandit Jose Rodriguez, who escaped across the border to America. He is five feet, ten and a half inches in height, has blue eyes and dark hair and a mustache. When last seen, he was wearing a brown leather coat and somber arrow hat with star trimmings and jingling spurs. He's a dangerous character. Pedro, Pedro, why do you make so much noise? If you sing the soft, sweet love song to me, I forgive you. Excuse me, miss, but ain't you went and got off at the wrong station? Why, no. Are you the stage driver that goes to Gold Center? Gold Center? Why, that town's been dead for years. There's only a couple of sourdoughs living there. You must have meant to get off at Sonora Town. No, I want to go to Gold Center. Can you take me there? No, ma'am. You see, I'm the agent. I just stay around the station. Well, uh, how far is it? Oh, about ten miles over the hill yonder. Do you want to sell your automobile? Automobile? <laughs> Say, you know, that's the first time in years that Lizzie there has been referred to as an automobile. I'll let you have her for, uh... Twenty dollars. It's a bargain. I'll take it.
Shy. What's all the excitement? Is it a fire or bank robbery? Neither one. Alkali, you ought to know it's election day. Oh, that's all right. I was so busy figuring out what I'm going to do for this town when the Democrats elect me. <laughs> I plumb forgot. <laughs> the Republicans are going to win this here election, and when the votes are counted, you'll be snowed under. As mayor of Gold Center, I now cast my vote for the Republican candidate, Cy Jenkins. <laughs> As a citizen of this town, I now cast my vote for the Democratic candidate, Alkali Potts. <laughs> hey, where you going? Going to get the sheriff. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, yourself. As Sheriff of Gold Center, I now cast my vote Republican. Hey, where are you going now? To get the Chief of the Fire Department. Uh, hi, Chief. Hello, Potts. As chief of Gold Center, I now cast my vote for Cy Jenkins, Republican. The entire population has now voted. And as mayor, I declare the polls closed. Hey, that ain't legal. It ain't sundown yet. I ain't a waiting for sundown. Running this town takes up all my time. Alkali Potts won. Cy Jenkins won. Alkali Potts won. Cy Jenkins won. Cy Jenkins won more. I'm elected mayor. This election ain't legal. I demand a recount. You say that again, and as sheriff of Gold Center, I'll lock you up. Well, you can't lock me up for what I'm thinking. You know, it takes a brave man to be sheriff of this town, and I'm that man. Bad men is my meat. <laughs> No, till we have a recount. Come here, with your recount. I don't care who's running the town. I want a drink. Who's got a drink? Yeah, he was elected. I just live here. I, I'm sorry. All I've got is coffee. What? what coffee? Hey. Hey. Manager. <laughs> Howdy. Pardon me. Could you direct me to the automobile club? Hey. The what? Why, an automobile club. Ain't no place like that around here. Oh, dear. 
I'm so disappointed. I wanted to hire a guide. A oh, guide? Well, that's different. There ain't nobody knows this town better than me. Why, I was born right in that there building. Can you drive a car? Oh, yes, ma'am. I once worked in a blacksmith shop. <laughs> All right, you're hired. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Where to, ma'am? I'd like to go to Dead Horse Mesa. Pardon me, ma'am. Did I hear you right? Did you say Dead Horse Mesa? Why, yes. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. I just squeezed my boots and my foot slipped. town has a visitor. <laughs> oh, welcome, little lady, to the best hotel in Gold City. <laughs> hey, be careful, them's baggage. <laughs> Come on, little gal. <laughs> you know, it's usual for the reception committee to greet a lady with a kiss. <laughs> no man or woman either can slap my face and get away with it. Hey, you fellow! The boss wants you at the cantina! Come on, Bo, let's get out of here! Come on! Are you hurt, ma'am? No, I'm all right. Well, that's good. Might I inquire who those gentlemen were? Oh, that was Wildcat and Bull. They're bad men. I wouldn't want them to hear me say it, but they had something to do with the killing of that engineer in Dead Horse Mesa. Oh. And who was the one that came for them? Oh, he was just the caretaker of the Katie Did Mine. Did I understand one of those ruffians to say that this is a hotel? Yes, Mom. Could I get accommodation? Why, certainly. Wait, I'll call my manager. All through Would you like to come in, Miss, and I'll show you the place? <laughs> this is my place. Uh, this is my wife, the manager. Drusella, the lady wants a room. says you wanted to see us. Yeah. Say, what are you fellas been doing? Do you want to blow up the works? Now, look at that last batch you made. Well, what's the matter with them? Why, anybody could tell it was a phony. They look all right to me. All right? Say, the fellas across the border want more silver in it. Now, you fellas get busy. Well, there's plenty more silver in the mine if we can use more dynamite. Hey, I don't want to blow down any more ore until I get the rights to the property. No dynamite, no silver. Well, all right, but go easy. Well, how about getting some more of it while we're here? No, you fool. I don't want the government on top of me. Now, get out of gold set and buy it as you always did. All right. That tree over yonder is what we call the dance hall. That's the favorite hangout for all the bad men in these here parts. As I told you before, Mr. Um, uh, Potts, ma'am. Alkali Potts. I'm not interested in any landmarks, Mr. Potts. 
I want to go to Dead Horse Mesa. <clears throat> but the, uh, all these bad hombres seem to make the Mesa their favorite hangout. Oh, that doesn't make any difference. The one particular biota I'm hunting inhabits Dead Horse Mesa. Well, these biotes are all right with me, as long as we don't stay out there with them too long. <laughs> You're too sensitive about these desperados. Oh, I ain't sensitive, but my skin perforates easily. Wait a minute, Bull. Pardon me, miss, but just what is a biote? Oh, you mean Mormon. Face slapper. Riding one bronc, I ain't never roped. <laughs> Come on. All my life, I wanted to see the charming lady in distress so I could help her. <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. Oh, he's all right now. Those bad men, they do not hunt the little rabbit. I think maybe they're after bigger game. <laughs> it's, a, it's all right, miss. Don't worry. I chased him away. Oh, the senorita, she is very fortunate to have such a big, strong man to watch over, huh? <laughs> Oh, they shot our tires. We need some new shoes. And the gas tank. Oh, that is nothing. Don't you worry your pretty head one minute. You leave everything to me, I fix him up good. I'm sure glad he came along. You know, ma'am, there's an unwritten law in the desert. A man always helps out a stranger in distress. He'll get us out of this. Well, what'll he do? Why, he'll tie his horse on the front of the car and pull us to town. Ah, here he comes. This is the way I fix him, senorita. We come back for your peon later. Peon? You, Bayori? Pedro! Pedro! We talk about the bird which is so beautiful and graceful. I don't even have to go to town. She fall right in my lap. Don't you think I'd better ride your servant's horse? Oh, no. The horse is too much wild for the woman. You're much safer with me. Come, Pedro, let's go.
like all the senoritas. Soon you'll like me pretty much. But you must not fall so quick. Well, Mr. Um... Senor Joaquin Flores. Oh, that's a nice name. Sure he's nice. I pick him myself. Well, Mr. Uh, picking myself, you're holding me too tightly. Padro, no need to play the music no more. Get up. Come on, right over here. It's a nice, easy car to pull. Tell me, senorita, why you are not afraid on these desert with so many snakes and bad men? Oh, are you a bad man? Well, I will try my very best. But don't be afraid. You have music, you are on your way to town, and you are with me. I want you to take me home. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, a good snifter of this, huh? Would you take me to town, huh? You don't want it? Listen, this is good stuff, huh? Oh, take a, take a, nope. take, take one. Here, go, go on, take me to town, will you? Huh? Now will you go? I bet you never before in all your life you have such a nice ride with such a charming gentleman. Oh, uh, I like the last part of it. Drusella, hand me the sugar. Ah. Well, anyway, I bring you home safe. Oh, I don't know about that. Last time I was here, a man shot this hole through my hat. A man shoot a hole in your hat? Oh, I do a little shooting myself, but it won't be in your hat. So, you are the big bad man who shoot a hole in a lady's hat, huh? Oh, no, no, no. That's not the man. That's Mr. Jenkins. He owns this hotel. Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Picky, myself. Senorita, I told you before, he's not picking myself. It is Senor Joaquin Flores. Senor, I am so sorry I make a big mistake. The drink she is on me. What will you have? I've only got coffee. Is coffee all right? Coffee. We will have the coffee if she is strong. Senorita. Hurry with the coffee. Come on, I want you to go to town with me. Come on, come on, go to town. Downtown, that's it. Come on, that, that's what I want. That's it now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, oh, that was good. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, sir. Have you any tires that I could buy for my car? Yes, ma'am, I keep some. The tourists are always losing their shoes before they get here. How much are they? Ten dollars a piece. Ten dollar? Huh. Looks like they lose more than their shoes before they get here. <laughs> when they get here, they lose their shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the price is all right. I'll take two. Yes, ma'am. Miss, your room is ready now. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Picking myself. No, no, no. It is Senor Joaquin Flores. You do not pick up the Spanish so quick. Oh, no. Adios, Senor Joaquin. Come on, get out of here. 
out of the way, dog. What do you think that doorway is, huh? A bedroom? Not so fast, my friend. My friend, I have a little business with you. Well, I haven't got any business with you. No? Perhaps you forget the memory she slipped. But you owe the lady $20. What do you mean? For the two tires. And very cheaper tax. You're pretty smart, ain't you? If you didn't have me covered, I'd wipe out the floor with you. You mean you want to fight me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But how do I know you're good enough to fight me? It won't take you long to find out. That is right. Pedro! Take this gentleman's best. Say this man wants to fight. Put down the guitar. Hey, what's this? I didn't say I'd fight both of you. No, no, senor. We do not fight that way. We fight very, very fair. Pedro, warm him up for me. Hey, I want to fight you, not him. But how I know you're good. I am what you call the main event. Go ahead, Pedro. All right. I'll wipe up the floor with him, too. Then pretty soon it will be a pretty clean floor, huh? Come on, come on. Huh? Wait a minute. What is this? A hugging match? Pretty soon you kiss from one to another. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Frank! This won't take long. Come on and fight. Oh! Pedro, please, this is not a bullfight. Shame on you. He's all right. Start up and make him good this time. Come on and fight. Come on and fight. Wait a minute, my friend. If you want to win this fight, you must put the left hand up like this and bring the big uppercut. What are you trying to do, make a fool out of me? No, no, senor. You try him. She never failed. Now, go ahead. Wait, my friend, you stand with a neutral corner. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Eight, nine, ten, you're up. I think I will have to get the new Pedro. You take me too long to knock him out. Ah, senor, the floor, she is plenty dirty. <clears throat> Pedro, get my hat. Now, my friend, I don't want you ever to forget the lesson I teach you in five. Senorita, come here, please. Now, senor, apologize to the lady for shooting holes in her tiles. I'm sorry. 
No, 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 that is not the way. Like this. Senorita, I am so, so sorry. And don't forget the two swords. Senorita, I'm so, so sorry. That is fine. Just a minute. You forget our little business, the $20 for the lady. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, 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 hund
Well, how do you do? This is a strange place to find a lady. Aren't you lost? No, I'm just hunting for insects. Oh, well, haven't they anywhere you come from? No, not the kind I'm looking for. Oh. Yes, I am well acquainted with this messer. In fact, I have prospected all over these hills. Oh, you're a miner. No, not exactly. I am the owner of the cantina in Sonora Town. Of course, sir, uh, I am interested in a mine called the Katy Did, located right over the hill. Oh. Did an insect put that hole in your hat? Yes, an insect named Wildcat. He did it at the Gold Center Hotel. Oh, he did, eh? Oh, you know him? Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, that is, uh, he works for me. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I think my car is ready. My name is Devil Jackson. I hope we meet again sometime. Yes, uh, we might meet again, Mr. Jackson. Alkali! Alkali! Uh, guess you'll have to take a trip to the cantina and get that money from Jackson for the supplies that his boys at the mine has been buying lately. Not me. I ain't going to that wire tonight. We've got to collect that bill. What do you mean, we? You're running this place, and it's your duty. How far is Sonora Town from here? Why, miss, you're not thinking of going to Sonora Town at night? Oh, I'd like to see what the place looks like. I'll take you, ma'am. I was just thinking of going to the cantina myself tonight. Oh, thanks. I'd like to go very much. All right. Now, if uh, you will just sign this, please. Oh, sure. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. <laughs> now, uh, the best place, Mr. Park, to spend that is right downstairs. You would? Well, fine. I always have a table reserved for special guests. I come in search of my love, some sweet turtle dove. When I find him, how happy I'll be. So don't smile and be gay make the search really pleasant for me now the face of this boy makes my heart beat with joy the fire in his eyes speak of love but i'll tell you the truth without that one too you couldn't be my turtle dove All them all you possess I've been so lonely and blue For someone like you I'm yearning just for your caress hey. Now you're her hero And you'll have to take her out and buy her a drink That's right, come on yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute You all right, we'll get a drink
like them, Santa Claus. Tequila, tequila, tequila. That Mexican sitting alone. There's that bird over there that beat me up. It's funny they're at separate tables. Maybe they're on the outs. No. There's something up. A basket? What do I want with a basket? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> He's an odd character, isn't he? Just a minor having a good one. Mines must be very interesting. I'd love to visit yours sometime. Well, you certainly shall. And there's the boss sitting with that girl he said I'd apologize to. I don't get this. And you better get over there and get rid of the girl. I'll tip the boss off. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. I came over to apologize to this young lady the way you asked me to. Well, I'm sure she'd accept your apology, won't you? Why, certainly. Thank you. Just to show there ain't no hard feelings. May I have this dance with you? I'd be glad to. said she wanted to take a look at the mine. Well, I think I'll let her. Now, you go on and get Manuel and tell him to come upstairs. How much you want? Take a face it. Keep the change. You're dancing with Wildcat and playing one of the boss, huh? You think I ought to have a little attention? Oh, I think not. So you want another hole put in your hat, huh? Back out the door. Quick! You know what I think? This hat gets you into too much trouble. So I buy you this one with the little bells on it. Oh, I don't want a hat. I want to go home. You all right, ma'am? Yes. What's the matter? The lady, she don't like the hat? Come, Pedro, we find out. Look, Pedro, the little bird, she's in the nest. 
And the night is so beautiful. I think maybe I sing the love song. Go ahead, Pietro. That's the boss's orders. He wants more silver put in the next batch you fellas make. That's fine. Well, I better get into town. Who's gonna help us with the next batch? I'll get Nick to help you. I haven't got time. I've got to go and meet the boss in the cantina. And don't forget, the next batch of silver dollars have got to be ready for shipment across the border tomorrow. The hand should be up instead of down. Now, my friend, we go to town. All right, Bull. Let's go. Well, you 
you decided to pay me another visit, eh? Say, what are you doing at that desk? Come on out there. Say, come here, give me back those papers. My friend, I do to catch you. Now come with me. Say, that Mexican's got no right to lock me up. No? Well, we keep you here until charges are preferred again you. Mr. Alkali Potts, I want you to guard my mine. Well, I thank you, ma'am. I don't understand why you came down here looking for them biotes. Oh, I wasn't looking for biotes. You see, when I received word that my engineer had been killed, I decided to come down here and find out what it was all about. But why did they kill him? Well, you see, um, Jackson and his men were using the mine as headquarters for counterfeiting. The engineer must have found out. Well, ain't nothing gonna happen to your property while I'm guarding it. I feel sure of that, Mr. Potts. I think we'd better be going. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye, Mr. Pekin, myself. Senorita, you still forget. The Senor of Joaquin Flores. Goodbye, Joaquin. Do you really like the name Joaquin? Very much. Then you won't forget? I'm sure I won't. Adios. Adios. May you always be happy. Pedro, come here. The little bird, she fly from the nest. <laughs> come on, the case is over, so let's get out this dialect, will you? <laughs> okay, pal. Operator 132, I want to congratulate you on a fine piece of work you did on this job. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Perkins. What are you going to do now? Oh, well, we'll take the prisoners back to Washington, and after the trial, I um, take a short vacation. And let the best prisoner get away? What do you mean? Listen, if I were you, I'd tell her in plain English that my name wasn't Joaquin. I'd like to, but I don't think she'd like that. Well, why don't you try? That's the best idea you've had on this job. Don't forget us now, will you? Oh, you bet I won't. That's right. Now, when you need another guide, you come to me. <laughs> Two to four, eh? Right. I pick them myself. <laughs> oh, 